Hello, my name is Bitter Thread, and I'm a bitter gamer. Welcome back to my let's play of Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we traversed the Viridian Forest, and we got here in this lovely building, and we're going to talk to these fine folks. Have you noticed the skinny trees on the roadside? Yes, I have. Yes, they're right there. See, to the left, those skinny trees right there. They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move, I hear. Oh, wonderful. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to be persistent and look everywhere to get different kinds. Wonderful. Do you know the evolution cancel technique? When a Pokemon is evolving, you can stop the process. It's a technique for raising Pokemon, but by the way, they are... Wait, I missed it. The way they are, yep. Okay, bye. I was just kidding. The trees that we can't obviously walk around are these. This tree looks like it can be, it can be cut down. Now, the same Pokemon in the last route before the Viridian Forest are in this grass right here. So, yay! Ratatas and Weedles for everyone. Hi, guy. There aren't many serious Pokemon trainers here. They're all like bug catchers, you know? Just hobbyists. But Pewter's Jim Brock isn't like that. Not one bit! Okay, we're gonna heal. Oh, I spy to the left a lovely looking Pokemon. We're gonna talk to these folks too. What do you have to say, Pokemon? What? 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 Uh, I'm awake. I'm awake. Um, hi, Jigglypuff. Um, what do you have to say? Yawn. When Jigglypuff sings, Pokemon get drowsy. Me too. Snore. I just did that. What? Team Rocket is at Mount Moon? Huh? I'm on the phone. Scram! Well. Excuse me, princess. I really want a Pikachu, so I'm trading my Clefairy for one. We can catch a Clefairy, uh, a Pikachu, excuse me, in the Viridian Forest. 5% chance if you really want one. I didn't, so I didn't go looking. I'm trading with that kid over there. I had two Pikachu, so I figured I might as well trade one. You monster. Hi, glad to meet you. That's unfriendly of you. How about saying hi back? So come on, tell me about yourself. I'd love to hear your profile. Tell me something good about yourself. What's your profile? No. Aw, uh, don't be like that. Tell me your profile. Nope. Bye! Bye! So we're in Pewter City. It's a lovely... Green town. Let's go in here. Hey guys, I'm walking on your furniture. Pokemon learn new techniques as they grow, but some moves must be taught by them. By, uh, taught, be taught to them by people. A Pokemon becomes easier to catch if it has status problem. Sleep, poison, burn, and paralysis. Those are all effective. But catching Pokemon! But catching Pokemon is never a sure thing! Oh, that was annoying. Oh, God. I want to stamp those flowers. I'm trampling your garden. Take that. What do you have to say about that? Psst! Do you know what I'm doing? No. Spring repel to keep wild Pokemon out of my garden. Well, okay. Bye. Ugh. There are some big weirdos in this town. 
Um, what do you have to say? The fairy came from the moon. That's what the rumor is. They appeared after moonstones fell on Mount Moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This town stinks. Let's blow this pop stand. You're a trainer, right? Brock's looking for new challengers. Follow me! Well, guess we can't leave. If you have the right stuff, go take on Brock! Well, you're a very enthusiastic young man. I'm going to go see what's uh, in the those places over there before we go take on Brock. Uh, what about you, Grass Patch Man? Did you check out the museum? No. Really? You absolutely have to go. Don't tell me what to do. No! 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 I don't want to go! No! No! This is it. The museum. You have to pay to get in, but it's worth it. See you around. Go away! I just walked over to you, and you moved me halfway back to Brock. You are so mean. I'm go I'm breaking into this house. Walking on your furniture. Near and sit. Bow, bow. Didn't say bow, bow. Our Pokemon's an outsider, so it's finicky and hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but... And may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. And that's a great, uh, a great way to, uh, a great transition into going to go get one of those badges. So, yeah. let's go. This is the Pokemon. Computer Pokemon Gym. Uh. Computer Pokemon Gym. Leader Brock. Winning trainers. Sax? No! The only person to have won against Brock is our. is our rival Sax. He got here before us. Gary was here. Ash is a loser. Ah! Uh, what do you have to say? Hiya! Do you want to dream big? Do you want to dare? dare uh, do you want to dare to dream of becoming a the Pokemon champ? I'm no trainer, but I can advise you on how to win. Let me take you to the top. Sure. All right. Let's get happening. The first Pokemon out in the match list is at the left of the Pokemon list. By changing the order of the Pokemon, you may gain an advantage. Try different orders to suit your po opponent's party. Oh, goodness. Well, let's start with Ms. Pac-Man, shall we? I didn't read that, but Light Years is not... Ugh. Light Years is distance, not time, but whatever. Uh, if you want to read that, pause the video. Low kick! Uh, nah. We're fighting our first gym trainer. This is exciting, guys. Is he going to be tough? No. Oh, yeah. Level 11. Karate chop. Oh, yes. Sandshrew. Ah, let's stay in. We just learned karate chop. And let's use it. Oh. Fudge. Uh, karate chop. Sanchu's pretty defensive, so I probably should have expected this. But, I mean, why not save uh, Todd for the final battle? Good work, Ms. Pac-Man. Darn. 
Light years isn't time, it measures distance. Thank you for correcting yourself. Aha. Uh -huh. Bitter got 220 Poke Dollars for winning. You're not as cheap as Sax. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is put Dodd in the front, our all-female team. Here we go. So you're here. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. Pewter's gym, I don't care. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwahaha! You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fine then, show me your best! This is Brock, our first gym leader. Leader Brock would like to battle, and he chose Geodude. Geodude is a rock, ground type. Level 12. We are going to attack it with Vine Whip. It is four times weak to it, and it will one hit. Kill it, I guarantee. Oh, snap. Down it goes. Todd grew to level 12. Uh-huh. Brock is about to use Onyx, which I believe is level 14, is also a rock ground type. Uh, and it's going to go down for fairly quickly as well. Bind! Oh, that's a doozy in the first generation. But in this generation, it is not as good. And we hit it, killed it in one hit. So, booyah! Brock is a joke with my Bulbasaur, Todd. My female Bulbasaur, Todd. And with that, Todd gains 324 experience points, grows to level 13, and we defeat... Leader Brock! I took you for granted, and so I lost. As proof of your victory, I confer on you this. The official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. Better receive the Boulder Badge from Brock! Hooray! Just having the Boulder Badge makes your Pokemon more powerful. It also enables the use of the move Flash outside of battle. And of course, a Pokemon must know the move Flash to use it. We got 1,400 Poke Dollars for winning! Wait! Take this with you. We received TM39 from Brock. A TM, a technical machine, contains a uh, technique for Pokemon. Using a TM uh, teaches the move it contains to a Pokemon. The, a TM is good for only one use. So, when you use it, pick the Pokemon carefully. Anyways, TM39 contains Rock Tomb. It hurls boulders at the foe and lowers its speed. That's handy. Thank you very much, Brock. See ya. Na 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 We got our boulder badge! Yeah, let's go take a look at it in our, uh, our little uh, page there. Look at that. Our number one slot has been filled up with the boulder badge. We got the boulder badge. Oh my god, we got the boulder badge. Whoa! And we got $5,000. What's up here? Uh, apparently nothing. So, with that, I think I'm going to heal. Real quickly. Come on, Nurse Joy. We're going to go see what all the hubbub is at Mount Moon. Because that guy was speaking crawl crazily like in the phone, but, uh... What's this? Who are you? Oh! Bitter! I'm glad I caught up with you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. No, you're not. Professor Oak's aide only proclaims that he is Professor Oak's aide. Oh, wait. You just did. I believe you now. I've been asked to deliver this, so here you go. 
Bitter received the running shoes from aid. That means we can go a little bit faster than we been going before. We don't have to walk everywhere. Press the B button to run, but only when there's room to run. Well, I must go back to the lab. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye. See, now there's a letter attached. Dear Bitter, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up from Mom. Aw. Well, now we can run around. Yahoo. We were going so fast. But with uh, us going, getting our running shoes, I'm going to end off here. Uh, and then in the next episode, we will explore Route 3 and head up to Mount Moon. Uh, so if you like this episode, please click the like button. Uh, comment and subscribe. If you don't, I'm going to be bitter about it. Thank you very much and have a good one, people. Uh, bye-bye.